Hi, my name is Shrey, and today I'll be explaining question one from LeetCode's most recent weekly competition, 200. Question one is count good triplets. And what dictates a good triplet is if the indexes i are less than j, which is less than k, um, all being between the end and beginning of the array. And also if the array at i minus j is less than or equal to a, the array at j minus k is less than or equal to b, and the array at i minus k is less than or equal to c. And you take the absolute value of that. So the question gives you an input array, the values of a, b, and c, and it wants you to return an int value. So let's just dive in straight into example one. Um, one thing to keep in mind is despite there being so many constraints, it's actually a very straightforward solution. So you have um, three loops, I use three for loops, and you basically check each triplet possibility. So you basically brute force it and check all triplet possibilities, and you see if each triplet satisfies these three conditions. And if it does, then you increment count and you just return count at the end. So that's basically the entire solution. Brute force worked in during the competition, so that's what I used. So let me quickly go ahead and explain that in code, just to make it a little bit more clear. So the first thing you do is you declare a count um, value, or declare count to zero, because that's what you'll be returning at the end, count or any other variable which you want to use. So next, you want to use three for loops. Um, to check every possibility, it would just be i equals zero, j equals i plus one, um, k equals j plus one. That's just pretty standard if you want to check each and every possibility. And then you see um, if triplet satisfies all three conditions, um, increment count. Finally, you break out of break out of the three four loops and then you finally just return count so that's basically the entire solution a uh, brute force solution to check every possibility of a triplet and then see if it satisfies the conditions given so yep if this video helped you in any way please remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and i will leave a link to the code down below thanks and i'll see you in the next video